Hi, my name is Mrs Betteridge and I'm Head of Technology um, and I'm here to introduce the applied course that is the Level 3 Food Science and Nutrition. It's a course that's been designed to support learners to progress to universities. Um, it's a course that's split into, um, well it's split over two years, so you do it obviously in year 12 and year 13, and it's split into three different units. It's a practical course, um, supported by theory, um, but there's a lot of cooking in there, you get to go into the food rooms and try out different recipes. Um, in year 12 you do the unit one, and this is all about nutrition for specific target groups. So you will do an internal assessment and an external assessment. The internal assessment is what we would call coursework. So you will do that um, obviously in the practical rooms um, and support it in the computer rooms. So there's a practical element to it and there's um, a report that needs to be written up. It's all about learning uh, protein, fats, carbs and how each target group um, would need to take those in. So you would um, choose a target group, you'd be given a, a starting point, so it would be a plan, prepare and make, similar for some people to what they've been doing in GCSE. And then you'd prepare um, a three course meal. And obviously you would document all your nutritional needs, you'd look into all the macronutrients and the micronutrients. That would be completed over the course of year 12 and submitted at the end of year 12. So that's the internal assessment. The external assessment is an exam, which you will sit at the end of year 12. That will examine you on all the elements to do with nutrition and the application of nutrition. There, will, there is an opportunity to actually retake that at the end of year 13 if you choose to do so and you would actually get the highest um, mark for whichever um, exam you took. So if you could do better at the end of year 13, that's the one that would carry forward. Um, and that, that is called the Certificate in Food Science and Nutrition. So that's supported by this textbook. Um, in year 13, you'll do two units. One is called Unit 2, and that's ensuring food is safe to eat. And that is, um, you're given scenarios and they are scenarios away from a normal kitchen. So they might be a party in a marquee, they might be um, you know, an anniversary celebration on a boat, and you have to um, analyze a menu, and then you have to think about the risks that's involved in preparing that menu. So you learn about um, microbiology, um, you learn about all aspects of food hygiene and safety. This piece of work is a controlled assessment, so you will uh, work on it throughout year 13, and then it, you, you start the assessment at the beginning of May, and you have eight hours in which to complete it. So it's kind of a coursework piece, but it is controlled by time. You do it over eight hours at school, um, like I say, and it's controlled, and then it gets submitted to the board, and that's externally marked, so that's sent off to the board. And the last unit is Unit 4, so to complete the whole of the Level 3 qualification you would do the Unit 4, and that is research into a current issue. So you can choose whatever um, interests you, so it could be um, research into how much sugar we have in our diets, how much fat we have in our diets, how we snack, how we um, are moving more towards vegan diets, whatever you would be interested in, and it is a research piece. And that is run throughout year 13. Um, so you would do your um, initial planning, you would research, you'd do um, some secondary research, so you'd look at articles, and you would do practical research. So the practical element of the course in year 13 would come in in, in, in that element. Um, so you can look at, you know, analyse nutritional values, you can do taste panels, whatever you'd be interested in relevant to your start point. And that is a coursework piece, so you'd complete that throughout the year, you'd conclude it at the end of the year, and that would be internally assessed and then sent off to the board for moderation. Um, so it is a mixture of practical, um, but like I say, it is a course that is designed to um, progress learners into universities, so that you know there is an aspect of theory in there um, and a significant sector of science that goes with it as well.
A lot of students who've studied this course have gone on to university to um, study different food-based degrees, so things like food and nutrition, um, food marketing, food development. Um, students have gone on to do um, job-based degrees, job-based apprenticeship degrees, um, so for major supermarkets, and some have gone on to apprenticeships to work in the food industry, in hospitality, or in food development type roles. If you'd like any further information, please get in touch with us and let us know what we can do to help and we look forward to hopefully seeing you here in September.